Welcome to another studio vlog. Uh, I'm just starting off with uh, just some footage of me packing uh, one of the orders that I've recently got. I think this is two or three orders. Um, I filmed this and now I can't even remember. Well done me. But I have recently had an influx of orders uh, last week and this week as well which has been really amazing for my shop. Uh, I don't tend to do too many orders per month, um, but I'm slowly climbing up the ladder of the reach on Etsy. And hopefully one day it would be nice to be able to have a online shop where I can uh, make more of a profit off my work than obviously fees being put into Etsy and taken from them. But at the moment Etsy's been brilliant and sometimes I like to search tags which have what I have on my images to see like how far along the line of things it pops up. Um, but yeah, so it has been a good past like week or two. Uh, in other news I also recently got my first vaccination, uh, Covid vaccination, uh, which was really interesting um, and it was I wouldn't say it was easy to get to the place but when you're in there I was only in there for about 20 minutes and it was super simple really calm the lady who um, vaccinated me was really lovely uh, and I didn't have that bad an experience considering I'm quite frightened of needles and I do tend to <laughs> tense my arm because in anticipation for a needle uh, but it wasn't too bad this time and all I really got side effect wise was just having a really achy arm and a little bit of headache and that only lasted for um, the day after and a little bit into the second day arm wise uh, and right now I'm on my third day from it and I've literally have no symptoms at all I'm feeling great and I'll be obviously be going back again to get my second one, but that'll be in eight weeks time. Um, but yeah, just a little catch up really. Um, and I hope you've been enjoying the um, kind of non-vlog videos. So my new kind of schedule is, is that I will do a vlog and then the week after I will do like a specific video on some creative thing that I'm creating well, well done me um and then continuing the pattern so like vlog regular video vlog regular video kind of thing so each of these vlogs will have footage from around two weeks roughly um and I can't always film on all of the days uh, just because I do have work and I get really tired, I do have quite long hours at work. So every time I get home, I'm like, oh, maybe I could do something like creative. And then I find myself just sat on the sofa, binge watching YouTube or just lying down because I'm so tired. Um, but yeah, so most of the footage is either on my days off that I get or when I find a spark of inspiration. Uh, that would be in this actual packing clip. It was, um, I just got home from work, uh, threw on some clean clothes, and then I went to pack some orders because I don't like waiting or finding time later on. When I get an order, I like to get it out pretty much there and then and get it posted literally next day. Uh, and even on my Etsy, I do have it set so that I can have a good few days just in case I am really busy uh, but most of the time all my orders actually get shipped out next day uh, and they usually arrive if you're in the UK fairly quickly after you've purchased it. I can't always guarantee this but yeah uh, and I recently went to Ikea as well and they had such a lovely like flowery floral shop set up in there and of course I had to feature my favourite toy the Blaha sharks the ikea sharks we also got these really lovely uh, almond paste pastry sweets which are really lovely um so nice i love the color of them 
and I just thought I'd show you a bit of my um, side of my desk in the studio and how I have the Monster High dolls, particularly the Haunted line and how they kind of are very much my vibe of like pastel, spooky ghosts. And I recently got this new uh, money plant from Ikea and I just made a little setup in my desk in my room which I usually edit my videos on uh, just because I like to have aesthetic things. <laughs> And then I have a new little project, which I've been wanting to do for quite a while now, but never really knew how to come by it. But I bought these uh, shrinky, shrink plastic, clear sheets. And we had some uh, A4 ones, because I stupidly bought the mini ones thinking they were A4, but we, we won't talk about that. Um, I should really read listings better. Good on my mum for actually having some A4 sized ones. Um, so I saw a tutorial on YouTube on making a resin coated shrink plastic keychains. Uh, they're kind of similar to the ones, uh, the acrylic keychains you can buy off and get made by different like, industries. But as I'm quite a small business at the moment, I don't really have the funds to spend out on getting ones made. So I thought I'd give it a try with a few of my sticker designs. Uh, so this is just going to be a trial and error kind of thing. It's not going to be a like how to do this. Maybe in the future when I get a bit more knowledge on this, I will um, show you some of the stuff and how to do it. Uh, but at the moment I'm just using the tools that I've got available. I purchased some epoxy resin because I've always been intrigued by it uh, but too scared to use it so I thought I'd bite the bullet and buy some off Amazon. Uh, it was just a quick purchase because I really wanted <laughs> when I, I really wanted to get this done quite quickly for this vlog. Uh, so yeah those are the three designs and I scaled them up by 250% on my printer, printed it out and that in theory when you shrink it down should make it the right size for those stickers uh, now it is going to be again like i said another trial and error kind of situation where you just have to kind of play it by eye making sure i'm adding a little um section around the stickers because obviously i don't want it to be close cut i want to have that little kind of I don't know what the area around it and also I did hear a tip that if you are going to be coating it with resin it's always best to have rounded edges any sharp edges and re resin tends to gravitate towards that and pull off the design uh, so I've made sure in all of this design to keep everything as curved and utilize the least amount of like small pockets as much as possible but yeah I'm really excited um, about this process because if I if the resin goes well uh, I've got so many plans that I can do for resin and I've always wanted to have some charms in my shop uh, and I love these designs and I've always said that if I wanted to get charms I'd like to make these into charms especially the shark one he's just so adorable <sighs> <laughs> definitely modelled off my Ikea shark. Now this this name is very inventive. Sharky the shark. Don't, <laughs> don't ask me why but I just called my first Ikea shark Sharky. And then my partner bought me my second smaller Ikea shark and called it Pluto. And I have another smaller one in the studio that I keep which is Ben and we call him Ben the art shark. Yeah I might sound a bit crazy I don't know but I just really love the toy Ikea sharks. So I think this design I'm probably going to utilise first out of all of them because I think it has quite a good surface for me to work on and um, it's kind of... the others are good but this one has a few more things that I want to trial with on there like the curves of the shape um, 
and I've I, and I, I have a lot of these stickers that I don't mind if it goes a bit crazy with the resin um, and I'm just kind of cutting around it these scissors were really really rough uh, I don't it really annoyed me while I was doing this I wish I just picked up a smoother pair of scissors uh, but yeah I'm just cutting around it Right, and then we have the pattern to work off for the post. Now <laughs> you can see there's quite a big size difference between these two, but again, shrink plastic usually shrinks down about 70%. So here it is. Uh, I've got the clear because that's what kind of what I wanted for my charms I'm making. And I do believe that actually uh, one way for one way of this, this, I can't even talk, but one direction of the shrink plastic actually shrinks a bit more than the other um, so <laughs> I didn't film any of the process of shrinking it because I just wanted to concentrate and focus on it uh, in the oven it curled and got stuck so I had to get my heat gun out and it went all warped just trying me trying to pry it open but we still have something to work off and I managed to make it work this is a tester piece so it's not going to be perfect um, I, I realized that also um, I probably should have maybe not made such a rim around the edge of it. Um, so I could, in theory, instead of doing the 250, maybe 225% bigger, um, or cut off the edging that I did, and then it would be the right size, because there's quite a lot of edging on this. Uh, but I'm actually really pleased that I managed to save that shrink plastic because I was really worried that I'd wasted a whole sheet. So I've just stuck my vinyl sticker down onto the resin. Resin? Shrink plastic. And now I'm going to be going in with resin, which I'm going to mix part A and part B, equal amounts together. And I'm going to be add adding in a little bit of glitter to mine uh, because I'm extra. <laughs> uh, I just really love glitter actually. Um, and here we go. I made a mess. You can see it all over. I had a lot left over, so I ended up coating a lot of my old pins that I've made. Uh, also, I've got mum, my mum's Bertie bat pin that I also coated in resin. But it looks really good, and I really hope um, I can do more of this and it sets correctly. The glitter ratio looks really good. And then I purchased these um, clasps for possible hopefully key rings that I'll be making in the future and I just thought they were really cute so there's like a sakura blossom a moon a star and a heart and they both come in a gold and a silver uh, and I just thought these would be really nice to add to mine and I do like the shapes rather than the kind of bog standard clasps that you can get for keychains and yeah they just come in this bag I got them off Amazon I believe as well I would like to source them from a different seller, but as I was just in a rush to get this done and experimented with, but um, in future I will be ordering off more independent sellers. So this is the final result. Sorry, this is really fast, but this turned out brilliant. I mean, I love resin. Um, I did make the mistake of using a heat gun when it had set on top, so it had these kind of little like streaky layers on top, but I know now not to do that. And look how cute it is. I'm really pleased with how this turned out, considering I had so much like problems <laughs> from the get-go with this. To be able to successfully make this keychain is actually a miracle. Uh, the resin worked really well, as you can see from all the other ones. It's set perfectly, it's super glossy, the glitter worked really well with it. 
Um, it works really well on these clay pins, so this could be a possible um, clay pin uh, sealer for my, or not sealer, but um, a topper for all my next and upcoming clay pins. Just to add that extra gloss and glitter. And I did put it on this rainbow worm, though it did drip off the edges because there is a curve. And one of these soot sprite uh, wooden pins I have. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate a like and if you want to subscribe to my channel and you can always click the bell if you ever want to get notifications for my uploads. But thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.